purring like a kitten. Ho ho ho! What's up guys, I'm Dan H and welcome back to the project. Been a long time since I made a video and uh, I think it's time that I caught you guys up on some projects. So, didn't do a lot of cheap stuff lately, but what I did do was prepare the backyard for, uh, for Jeep work. Uh, <laughs> yeah man. So as you can see, we had a bunch of RCA poured and spread out here. Uh, huge thank you to Vinny from VMB Construction, man. He came out here with his bobcat and he got some work done. He took that big pile, that big mound, that berm full of flowers and whatnot, scraped it back out, and uh, well, here you have it. It is nice and smooth. The yard is graded. He brought in a ton of RCA, packed it down nice and tight there for me so I could build the uh, 17 by 10 Harbor Freight Special uh, little carport, and then we're gonna get some Jeep work done. So. Yeah, if you were wondering why I had all this fill out here, when I had the house made back in 2013, this was a new construction, and uh, this whole area back here was just nothing but woods and forest. There was like a clubhouse here, kids would hang out, and I swear they buried a couch back here in my yard. So uh, a couple years ago, I had Vinny come with his bobcat, and he scraped the whole top layer out, and he made a nice pile full of whatever crap was in this yard, just so I could have some living space, a uh, place for the kids to play, and, and, and so this time when he dragged it all back out, man, <laughs> the crap that was piled up in there, well, some fencing, shovel, some kind of fan thing, probably not a boat propeller, doubt it, but <laughs> I swear, there's so much material here, and uh, look at all this crap, this foam crap, I swear, it must have been a couch or something, uh, I could only imagine. All the stuff that was in it. Hey, look, a nice pick. Hockey stick. <laughs> God knows how long that's been back there. The wood is probably all rotted. But yeah, so uh, there's my slab, my slab extension. And uh, if you guys have been following along on Instagram, you'll know that I did all that work making a new slab. And eventually, that will probably get cemented in some spots. Uh, I got about. Uh, 15 bags of concrete left, so yeah, so that's what's going on there. Um, man, look at it. I'm so happy. Thank you again, Vin. Nice graded yard. I gotta go around pick it up all the extra crap, rake it up a bit. But yeah, this is the spot where some Jeep action is going down. So, speaking of Jeeps, let me, uh, let me just catch you guys up on the uh, XJ project, Project Beach Jeep. There's the four-door, chilling. There's a two-door, still chilling, and I had a consultation with Paul from PFAB Customs. Uh, so Paul is going to do some fabrication on these Jeeps, and we're going to see what kind of crazy stuff we can make out of these two XJs. Um, I, had, I had something interesting in mind, to say the least, and when I told him my plans, he was completely thrilled. He was uh, very excited to start the work because he loves weird stuff and what I'm building is definitely going to be one of a kind and weird. So I got the uh, driveway all cleared out. Da -da -da -da. Let me show you the front real quick, the front driveway. Um, here is uh, Black Beauty. If you'll notice, Black Beauty is the only vehicle left in the driveway. Why? Because when I went to start it, the battery was dead. I had to jump it, and um, then he said, don't worry about it, leave it, it's not going to be in the way of his bobcat, so I left it here. This is the only vehicle left with an Optima battery, and it didn't start. Go figure, right? 
So that one's getting replaced and I'm gonna be done with Optima for good. So check this out in the front real quick. Walking down, walking down. My neighbors are doing some work too. Beautiful day to get it done, right? Here we go. This is a driveway when they built the house. It was made with a curve. It was all right, but I kept hitting it when I backed out of my driveway and eventually a couple blocks got loose and I was so frustrated with it, I took the old sledgehammer and I bashed out every single block. And I just had them laying in place like as if I had a straight driveway. And well, that didn't really work too well. <laughs> they got ran over and smushed into the dirt. So finally, after many years, I got my act together and I uh, cemented them all in place. I did my block work, came up pretty good, and um, dug out all this fill. I asked my neighbor if she could <laughs> let me spread the fill out on her driveway. So yeah, that's done. And man, can't wait to finally finish this spot. I'll have a lot of room for Jeep driving, Jeep projects. And um, man, you know what? That brings me to my next point. I think I want to get another Jeep. So, if you can see, maybe not. Way back there, uh, there is a WJ. So I'm gonna take a walk down the block. I'm gonna go see about a WJ. <laughs> I just spoke with Alex, the owner of that WJ, and that thing has got some issues. Um, mm. <laughs> well, let's just say it overheated and it's a 4.7. And, uh, oh, man, airplanes are getting me again. So, yeah, 4.7, it's a finicky motor. Uh, if you overheat it, uh, it's gonna drop the valve seats and oof, you're gonna have a big problem. Um, we're gonna hope that it's not that bad. But even if it is, the price we negotiated, uh, that's a steal. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that WJ. So what I need for that is the starter, which it's out already, so that's cool. And I'm gonna need my air compressor because the two rear tires are flat. And maybe a bucket of water because I don't know if it's got some coolant in it. So we'll get some water, we'll get my air, and we'll get my power, and we'll go get a WJ. All right, so I'm digging out my air compressor and I just realized that these are the Harbor Freight jack stands that have the recall because they kill people. These things come down, drop whatever's on your head, kills you. Uh, found this out by uh, listening to uh, Chris Fick. So thank you, Chris Fick, you saved my life. I got four of these jack stands. I'm gonna trade them in. So thank you, China. Thank you for uh, making cheap shit. No more, no more cheap shit. I'm done with it, bye-bye. All right, oh, I can feel the flat tires. <laughs> we started this thing right up with a little charge, and man, it gushed coolant. There is a giant hole in the top of the radiator. So, figured let's not waste time. Let's get this thing right to the back, right where it needs to be. Oh my goodness. Here we go, until we fix that. This is a piece of work. <laughs> That's not sounding good. What the hell? It's got to be low on coolant. Not overheating yet. But she will in a minute. <laughs> Shut her down. Overland, baby. Yeah, WJ in my yard. Woof. All right, let's take a quick once over of this thing. All right. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Got a little broom in there. So here we go. Here is our Jeep WJ. We got, oh, we got my coolant caps. I'm going to pocket that. Uh, 
4.7 high output v8 yeah baby um let's go over here to where the issue is can you see it boom this is a blown out radiator so there's the problem that's why the coolant was leaking everywhere and uh well that's going to be a, a kaput for this uh radiator and i guess the whole fan system i don't know i'm gonna have to consult uh d and e this is the hydro fan and i don't know uh i don't know i'm gonna have to pick his brain maybe uh reach out to martin built and see uh see if i can convert this to a mechanical fan i don't know man uh <laughs> watching doug's videos that is a nightmare just a freaking nightmare so um i don't know i'll see if i could get this running and stable with some kind of coolant system going and uh, we'll see how bad the uh, engine is. Hopefully there's no engine tick or any uh, valve seat issues. We're gonna definitely have to address that because once it's overheated, could be kaput. Um, don't wanna make anything worse than it is. So I'm just going to uh, do my research, do my homework, and then we'll, uh, we'll address that engine. Um, one other issue is, um, I don't have a title for this. Uh, the gentleman I bought it from could not find the title. He tried to get a new title and, well, since the whole country's shut down, actually, uh, New York is probably the only other country, country, state um, that is shut down. I can't get a title for it just yet. So I'll uh, we'll worry about that. Um, when the time comes, if I can't get a title, you're looking at some nice WJ parts here, a parts car. If I can find the title, we'll, uh, We'll see what I can uh, do with this thing. Don't want to spend too much money on it. Uh, it could be a cheap Jeep project. Could be a part out. You never know. But this is a 2002. And um, this is exactly the kind of running WJ I need to test out some uh, theories and experiments I have with my XJ project. I want to integrate a lot of WJ computers and electronics into my XJ build coming up and um, this way I could have a, a perfect running example of how um, how things are supposed to be. Time out, airplane. Alright, we can continue our tour and uh, this is nice uh, overland panels back here. We got wood grain, uh, we got kids screaming in the background, <laughs> but uh, uh, here we go. Uh, it wouldn't be a Jeep if it didn't come with its own bottle of coolant and some track bars. And hey, look, previous owner was kind enough to throw in some zip ties. Yeah. So uh, got a ton of screws here, jacks. Great, fantastic. Uh, we got a nice privacy cover. I like that. Um, there we go. Pretty good seats. Lighter color. Not my favorite. Be great to find, uh, you know black interior i don't know change it out this uh this isn't too bad but um could be better the front has seen better days this is all sun bleach this panel's dangling and um yeah seat i could stitch this seat up this isn't too bad but this is nice and worn uh other problems we have we got a cracked shifter bezel actually crack center console i would change that out um i don't know if this is punched in or burnt from a cigarette that's missing uh got a nice receiver and we got a uh i don't know the nice wood grain dash so here we go pretty cool pretty cool so far continuing on we got uh we got the flip glass and it opens nice and um Close is nice, so that's another issue. Um, there's another look at the nice mess. <laughs> All the interior panels are here. Even that storage box is working. So, this changer, nice. And uh, we got this issue. Seems like uh, we got something stuck on passenger side over here. Driver side opens or releases but <laughs> she is stuck uh jeep 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 so again quick zoom in the interior the roof it has a nice sunroof this is uh the fully loaded overland 
so it has a sunroof and we are not going to open the sunroof why because you never mess with the sunroof you don't know if they'll ever close again so i'm not going to invite that drama in my life right now don't you put that evil on me ricky bobby so yeah that's pretty much it don't know what we're going to do with this yet i don't know i don't know i guess we'll wait and see on the title maybe in the meantime we can take apart the whole front end and get after that uh, fan issue. We'll see. Because if I can't get the title, we're taking it apart anyway. So it wouldn't be a waste of time. So that's about it, guys. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you. We've got a new WJ. Yeah. Let me know what kind of WJ content you want to see. The sky's the limit. So, all right, guys. That's going to do it for this video. Uh, interesting update video, huh? Never thought I'd be getting a another WJ, well, another Jeep, which is my first WJ, the same day I actually finished uh, grading the yard. <laughs> project, projects, project. I guess that's why they call me Project Dan H. <laughs> so, so corny. Oh, man. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Uh, plenty of Jeep content coming, coming our way. It's going to be a crazy summer. I can feel it already. WJ, still got General Grievous, who needs a sunroof, still needs rims, tires, and a lift. Uh, my Black Beauty XJ, sorry guys, I just stalled right in the middle of my rear disc brake conversion project, but uh, I got some videos coming up soon for that, and of course, the, uh, the Beach Jeep, the new Beach Jeep project that is coming too. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and um, I'll catch you guys on the next project. Peace. <laughs> Look here, I got Jeep juice already on my new driveway. Uh, oh well, peace.